each woman who has a dress of Wael Jabour Couture, she's the only one who has it. The fashion interest started, uh, I had a very close relationship to my mother. She taught me everything about fashion. And she, she taught me that fashion, we, like we don't choose clothes just to cover our bodies and it's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. Do you find that that, like, that media and the arts kind of university campus space really allows you to sort of collaborate with lots of different people and then you can sort of starting in audiovisual and thinking of being a director and then moving across to fashion, it becomes a really easy like, process to make to get to that. I worked as an art director uh, and a wardrobe stylist yeah. in, uh, in, the, in the music video and commercial industries. I worked with uh, some Lebanese directors and this gave me the opportunity to style some famous Lebanese artists. And that was, that was an opportunity for me to work in, in, in my field, which is audiovisual, and my passion, which is fashion. And it gave me the opportunity to dress many beautiful singers in Lebanon. Was there any one person in particular who had a real big influence on your career? Yes. In the university, I met Jai Salame, uh, a student who has the same interest in art. We were in the same class studying audiovisual together. Then we became friends and we had this special bond. She was my first muse. We did, uh, we always had idea to create photo shoot together. Uh, we did short movies together. I styled her. Uh, she, she and this is how I developed more and more uh, passion for her for fashion. When I came to Geneva, I always ha ha had this, this, this passion for cinema and fashion at the same time. So I wanted to combine both. So when I came to Geneva, uh, I started creating my own design. When I was in Lebanon, I used to style, I used to, 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 to have clothes from other brands and put them on the artist. Or, so I started creating my own design uh, and I met my muse in Geneva, the, the international sculpture, Eleanor Cardozo. Her work, because she's a perfectionist, she, she, her work is very detailed, the way she, her sculpture inspired many of my design, because I, I always like to design a dress that would feel like a second skin on a woman. So I started designing, and then I, exe uh, I executed photo shoot with her. And this is how I promoted my work, and, uh, and after it, it uh, I had the great feedback and it, it gained uh, an international attention. And this is why I decided now that I'm gonna launch Wael Jabour Couture in Geneva. Yeah, so you're now launching in Geneva this year. Is that, is that, has that been a scary process, releasing this new stuff? Or is, are you really excited to get everything out there now and start uh, showing all your stuff? It's a bit of everything. Now I'm excited because like uh, the ladies of Geneva received me very well. Like they, they, they appreciate the work, they, they supported me. Uh, and uh, so I'm excited. I'm waiting to see after the fashion show, the feedback, how it's going to be. It's, it's stressful, it's exciting, it's satisfying. It's, all kind of feelings at the same time. I'm inspired by, by with every lady I meet. Um, when I came to Geneva, I developed, I met Vanessa Vargas Alzais, and she became my best friend. And we developed a very close, authentic relationship. After I started cr creating in those two years, my design, we decided to collaborate together. Each one of us have a different style yeah, and yeah. a different identity. But while we were collaborating in the process, we found that we have more similar similarities than yeah. differences. And uh, while we were designing, it, uh, designing this collection, Vanessa came up with the idea of changing an evening gown to a cocktail dress because sometimes the lady have gala dinners, then they have an after party, so they can use. So we, we created the V&W co collection together, and 
with evening gowns that become cocktail dresses and it's a fusion because she's Latin American, I'm Lebanese. Yeah. It's a fusion between the collection is bold, fierce, meets feminine, glamorous. I always like to ask this when, whenever I'm talking with creative people and people who are making stuff. What, what's your favorite part of the of the process as as a whole? Is it is it coming up? The with fittings. The, the sorry. The fittings. The fittings. Not the not the. Sh yeah. I love the photo shoots. Yeah. And I I love every part of it. Mm -hmm. The fitting when uh, when the lady put on the gown and she feels comfortable and confident in it, and I see her satisfied. This is for me the best mo moment in the process. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to our Dukaskopi fashion channel. If you have any questions at all, then Dukaskopi 911 has the answers. Check out our unique competition and social media platform to get all of the answers to your burning questions.